Assalamu alaikum so today we are going to discuss the arterial anastomosis around the scapula so this anastomosis it is very important for the collateral circulation so first of all we will see a brief introduction and then we will draw it so this anastomosis it is involved in the collateral circulation and this anastomosis it is between the first part of subclavian artery first part of subclavian artery and the third part of axillary artery part of axillary artery and these anastomoses are important due like uh, when there is a ligation of the axillary artery or the subclavian artery or there are stenosis of these arteries important in ligation and stenosis so now we will draw this anastomosis here and then we will see the branches of these subclavian and the axillary artery which are involved in this anastomosis First of all, we will draw a scapula. This is a scapula. Now we will draw the subclavian artery and the axillary artery. Here will be a subclavian artery. and at this point it is changing into the axillary artery now this is the axillary artery okay now we will see the first of all we will label it and then we will see the branches this was the third part of sorry first part of subclavian artery so uh, from this point the axillary artery continues so this will be the first part this will be the second part and the onward will be third part this whole is the axillary artery axillary this whole part is third part because uh, we are magnifying it because we are going to discuss this part okay so first of all we, we will see the branches so two branches of this first part of subclavian artery are involved the one branch is the dorsal scapular artery and the second branch is the suprascapular artery these both will anastomose like this And now we will see first of all we will label it then we will see the those branches this was the dorsal scapular and this branch was the suprascapular these are the branches of the subclavian artery and this third part of the axillary artery it gives to total three branches the two are the anterior and the posterior circumflex humeral artery which will um, move around the surgical lack of the humerus and the third branch which will be the the main branch of it uh, is the subscapular artery this will be the sub scapular artery and this subscapular artery will then divide into the circumflex scapular and the thoracodorsal the thoracodorsal will be this and this will be the circumflex scapular thoracodorsal and this will be circumflex scapular these are the branches of the sub subscapular artery which is the branch of third part of axillary artery so this will also an astomos like this with all these
so this is actually the anastomosis around the scapula and the vessels which are involved in it now we can see that the branches of, of the subclavian artery are the suprascapular artery and the dorsal scapular artery and of, of the axillary artery third part is involved and third part the, the branch is the subscapular artery which will divide into two branches which will be the circumflex scapular and the thoracodorsal so circumflex scapular the thoracodorsal the dorsal scapular and the suprascapular these four are actually involved in the arterial anastomosis around the scapula thank you